Um, so the mantra that I, I sort of developed over the years, and it's this is the one I use morning and night and any time I feel a bit overwhelmed, is I use thank you for the opportunity to be who I am, where I am, with what I have at this moment in time. So thank you for the opportunity mm-hmm. to be who I am, where I am, with what I have at this moment in time. Um, and I think that just encompasses you know yourself, where you are and what you have. Um, and it's not searching for you know, items, it's just purely bringing you that experience. Um, mm-hmm. And again, you say it in your head, you know, you can say it out loud, you can do whatever, I just say it in my head. Um, and that can be that can be super powerful. Um, I guess on the gratitude perspective as well, um, is, is helping people to focus on the good. So it's not so much looking for, you know, what are you grateful for? What I like to do is, is, is you, you, you ask people, you know, what, what's the best thing that happened today? You know, what's the best thing that's happening in your world this week? You know, what are you what are you most looking forward to? So it's you, you know what what we what you focus on. You know, that's where the energy goes, and um, and that's what grows. So it's a matter of getting people to um, you know, to focus on the bright spots rather than what's going wrong. Um, that's super helpful. Um, from a, also from a business perspective, you know, rituals around connection are super super powerful. So doing things as a team, so scheduling time to do things as a team. So, you know, sometimes some of the team building stuff can be, again, a bit wanky. But I think if you're doing doing things where there's a, you know, a, a, a relevant tie back to, you know, to a business, a business experience, that can be really helpful. 